Hello and welcome to a new video. Thank you ever so much for joining me in today's video where I'll be looking at Preply, the advantages, the disadvantages, as well as general conclusion, overall impression of this platform. Now, some of you already are aware that I used to work with a variety of other online educational companies, uh, freelance, and now I decided to go a separate route. And I'll explain a little bit more in a bit more detail about this company. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, if you're not sure of Preply, Preply is basically an online matching system where students register and they have to try and match up and find a suitable tutor, whatever the language. The unique element of Preply is it not only offers English for language learners, but they also offer a variety of other languages. So if you're willing to study Korean, for example, the one that I'm studying at the moment, then please consider Preply because they also have a variety of great tutors on their platform for uh, Korean and, and you know and other European Southeast Asian languages. When you register as a teacher you need to create your profile and that profile drives that student to see your experience, your qualifications. So I would always recommend, and I'll probably create another video about creating your profile. On top of creating the profile, you have to make a introduction video for potential students. And it could be either a YouTube video or it could be a Vimeo video or whatever it's called. I think it's Vimeo. Once your profile's up and running, it can go live once Preply have okayed it and decided, yep, this profile is good to go, then you'll start to notice some students. That's Preply. It's an online matching system for language learners and language teachers. I thought after working for a month on the Preply website, I thought I would share my experiences, the advantages and potential drawbacks about Preply, and then my overall opinions about Preply. So let's start off with the advantages. The key advantage to working as a tutor on Preply freelance is that you have the ability to market yourself. You're competing with a variety of other tutors, so you can market yourself how you see fit. So it's always worth invest in just a little bit more time about creating your profile and making it look just a little bit more professional compared to other tutors. The second advantage of Preply is the fact that you're going to be your own boss. What I like about having that autonomy is I'm responsible about lessons, I'm responsible about what I do in class and there's not going to be that factor of an organization that you're working for, albeit freelance, telling you exactly what you have to do. The fact that you have that autonomy to work via Preply is that you're able to teach how you want to teach. You're able to accommodate students how you feel best to accommodate them. So it's a great advantage, whereas when I compare the time when I was working for uh, another organisation online, they would always be rather uh, prescriptive about how to teach, what to teach, when to teach. And I found that a little bit uncomfortable, but having that autonomy although and that experience beforehand has taught me a great deal about how to accommodate students within an online environment. The third advantage which I found incredibly helpful and valuable really was the fact that I had a lot of flexibility with my schedule. I would be able to schedule in particular times that I was available to teach and also schedule out that free time if things cropped up. So it's a great opportunity to schedule in 
times that you're available and accommodate student requests when it comes down for when they want to have particular lessons or times when it is either out of that scheduling or free time that you have available to teach. So the, the scheduling system, the flexibility that you have is absolutely fantastic. The next advantage of working with Preply is that you're able to market yourself and create a niche. Now, if you do look at online profiles for English tutors, a lot of them just focus on conversational skills or general English. When I looked at other tutors' websites when I was creating my own profile, I decided that I would try and do something that other tutors aren't necessarily going to be doing. So for me, I focused on more advanced students. There's a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy teaching high level students. They have high expectations, they already know the grammar, they already have great vocabulary. But when it comes down to teaching them, they can be very picky and it can be a challenge to teach them. And it can be quite stressful, I, I understand that. But I thought I would market myself to that level because not everybody would feel comfortable teaching that level but I would also you know mark it in towards exam preparation um, I went on to all the tutors I noticed exam preparation wasn't necessarily something that all tutors covered particularly with my experience of teaching IELTS and FIRST or FCE for schools or PET and that sort of thing I thought yeah I, I could market myself in that direction so i would always recommend and i would always urge other potential tutors on preply to market yourself create a niche try and create that area which isn't that competitive the final advantage that i've noticed with working on the platform of preply is the flexibility that you have with creating your own material now Preply, they try and do a great job and it's very commendable that they create material to support those tutors who don't necessarily have that confidence to plan and deliver lessons. I tried it once with one student, but you know, once they found the material that I was preparing and delivering and then we dipped into the material with Preply, there was no comparison. So for potential tutors, those with a lot of experience, those that want to put in the effort by creating their own material, I would always recommend that. And it, it's a great chance for, again, uh, marketing out and sharing your niche. And you're doing something that probably not many other tutors on Preply do by creating that material. Okay, so that is the advantages, um, but obviously, as with anything, there's going to be some drawbacks to working with Preply. And these are common ones that you may come across if you do search for the challenges or the difficulties of working with Preply. So, let's begin. The first challenge that tutors may face is that there's not going to be a guaranteed number of students that you're going to be teaching. If you're expecting to teach 20 students a week, the thing is it will take a long time for you to get up there. You're going to start off with maybe a student here, a student there, and slowly developing it time after time and so for me after one month I've got about eight uh, current students that I'm teaching during the week. Some tutors may find it that their growth increases very quickly, some tutors may find that their growth is a lot slower. It's very unpredictable and um, it's there's no real um, quick fix to this. So students aren't guaranteed. That's the one disadvantage. So if you're expecting to earn a lot of money very quickly on Preply, it's not going to happen. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of investment, and then you'll start to reap the rewards later on, maybe six months later. The next drawback with regards to Preply is the fact that they, you know, take a lot out of your hourly rate from commission. So when you're first setting out, I think the first 25 hours of classes that you're teaching, 
the commission rate is 33%. So probably take a third out of your hourly rate and that can seem quite a lot. So if you're going to be charging $20 an hour, 20 US dollars an hour, um, then probably you're going to take a third out of that for the first 25 classes. Obviously it reduces um, after 25 classes, so then it goes down to 28%. And then after a, another 25 classes, I think it's after 50 hours of classes, then it goes down to 25%. And then after 25%, it goes down and down and down. Um, and then I think it goes down to, I think 18%, possibly 15%, but I'm not entirely sure. So when you're starting out, just be aware that the rate that you set on Preply, some of that's going to go back in to, to Preply. Essentially look at it as a way of a finder's fee for Preply. Um, they're giving students access to you as a tutor, but obviously Preply deserve some commission from that. If it weren't for Preply, you wouldn't have the student. So it's a catch-22 situation. So just bear that in mind when you set your own rate. So, you know, and, and the good thing is, the good thing is about Preply is that you can set your rate. It could be $20 an hour. It could be $30, $40, $50. It's entirely up to you. But then again, as I mentioned in my previous point, if you do set a higher rate, you're not going to attract many students but if you do set a lower rate then you're going to attract more students. Uh, the next drawback is about planning lessons. Yes you do have great flexibility about planning your own lessons and you don't have to rely upon the material provided by Preply. However the drawback about planning your lessons is you're going to be spending quite a bit of time planning those lessons and for me, initially, it took about an hour before I started to feel comfortable about what to do in the class. It, it's, kind of, um, it, it's kind of tough when you don't know what you're going to be teaching or you're just trying to find out a bit more about students. And it does take time. Um, so, do, you know, you should invest that time wisely planning those lessons. The advantage is once you've created some lessons, a bank of lessons, you can refer back to it and you could recycle those lessons with other students as well. So for me, I create a sort of uh, document where I have a variety of different lessons and I just have the name of the student and the lessons that I've covered with that student. Okay, so this leads me on to my next drawback with regards to Preply. The thing is with Preply is there's a lot of tutors on there. Some with years and years of experience that have built up all the reviews that they have and have great uh, recognition on the platform. So students are always going to go to them for lessons. You will have lessons and students coming over to you step by step, but you have to build that profile you have to build that presence and I think for students they can be very picky and it can be very competitive between tutors and students and tutors as well now my final drawback with Preply is when you have your first lesson with your student Preply call it a trial class and the thing is with a trial class Preply take the pay 100%. Teachers and tutors on Preply may or may not be aware that the trial class is 100% commissioned to Preply. Again, consider that your, your finder's fee. Now, essentially, it's for a student to assess whether that particular tutor is good for them. Uh, does that tutor suit that student? And not all students suit that tutor. Um, so it, it's an opportunity for tutors to assess, well, actually, this student, mm, I feel a bit uncomfortable. So I would recommend that this student look elsewhere. Or the student says, well, you know, 
good teacher, but not exactly a good fit for me. But I factor it into my overall rate when it comes down to what I'm charging the students. Now, um, finally, let's have a look at my overall opinions with regards to Preply. Okay, so overall opinions is that it offers great flexibility for teachers. The scheduling is great. You can cancel classes, but be aware that this could affect your statistics. There's some algorithm on Preply. Also for students, it offers them flexibility when it comes to rescheduling as well. Uh, the next thing is um, if students don't turn up to their class for any specific reason, you know, they, they miss their class, they forget about their class, or, you know, they, they have some emergency, then um, you'll, you'll still get paid for that class. Just, um, unfortunately, um, you know, you just need to negotiate with the students to see whether, well, would I feel comfortable enough to actually charge the student that has missed their class? or will I reschedule that class for another time? The, the next overall conclusion that I've got with regards to uh, Preply is that the possibility, the opportunity for you to earn um, quite a lot increases over time. Firstly, you have to you know, dedicate that time, invest that time to build your presence on Preply, but the, the opportunity to earn um, quite a bit over a period of time increases week on week, month on month, year on year. Uh, finally, I found the support service by Preply incredibly, incredibly helpful. Um, I've had issues before where I've updated my introduction video and I found that they were very responsive. Uh, I would go on the website, I would just send them a quick chat um, because they have a chat bot there, but then you get to a point where you can actually speak to someone and they'll uh, help with any technical issues. So the times when I've needed them, um, particularly when I updated my video and you know it kind of broke my profile and it went off and then back on again, um, they were very helpful, very understanding and very supportive. So the support service by Preply, whether it's uh, student related or whether it's teaching related or whether it's uh, material related or profile re related, they've been very, very supportive uh, over that time. Would I recommend it to other tutors who are looking for earning just a bit more cash in their free time? Yes, I would recommend it you know, for other tutors who find that their hours are reducing from educational companies um, where they are only getting paid, you know, $10 per 45 minute class. You can earn double that, more than double um, in an hour if you're teaching on the platform of Preply. The whole platform is great, just takes time to get everything together. And again, I'll share in a future video about what to do when you're setting up your profile. If you like the sound of that, then please let me know in the comments below. That would be great. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, um, first video in a, a while, so thanks ever so much for everybody's patience, please hit that like button. That would be really good. And if you haven't subscribed already, then what are you waiting for? Take it easy, take care, stay safe, and happy teaching. Bye-bye.